what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Today I want to talk to you about two very cool iOS applications that are clipboard managers on um, my iPad. Once uh, we start showing the uh, iPad, I won't get back on screen until the end of the video. So let's get started. The first is called Clippo. Clippo is a paid clipboard manager that we will see in a moment. And the other one is a clipboard manager shortcut that uses data jar to store um, its information. Okay, so let's get started and switch over to the iPad. So here is Clippo. It's this um, red icon with a pair of scissors as the main icon. And all you would have to do is um, go into it and uh, copy whatever it is you um, want to. So, but let me make sure that I do have something already copied in my clipboard manager that's on board the device. So if I try to go paste, oh, nothing is there. Let me try something. So let's try uh, spot. Jumped. Over. The house. Okay. That's good enough. I'm going to select all. And copy it. Now let's say I want to store it, so I would go to Clippo, and launch it, and it automatically asks you, uh, Clippo would like to paste from drafts. Of course, I would say allow, and here is the item that I just copied. So there's that. Um, and then of course, Clippo has a feature that doesn't consistently work, is if you uh, copy from your Mac that's connected, it sometimes will get triggered and ask you to if you want to paste what's uh, copied on your Max clipboard. But that's Clippo. It has some advanced features. Like so, um, it's, it's as automatically copy clipboard on open. That's why it, once it launches, you see that note asking you to uh, <clears throat> if you want to paste the item that's in your clipboard. And then it also syncs with iCloud and it's advanced feature just says <laughs> remove all clips, which you never really want to use. But that's the advanced setting. Done. And that's a uh, Clippo. And to copy items from uh, Clippo, you would go to, for example, tasks right here and click the share icon and click copy. And now you've copied something new into your clipboard 
and you can go to drafts, for example, again, and hit paste, and you'll see a paste. Um, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to create another copy so I have something in my clipboard. Copy item. So I'm going to copy this and then we're going to try the next uh, app. So you all just saw Clippo. Now we're going to see how um, the shortcut clipboard manager works. This icon has um, is a is a copy I think of a clipboard and a piece of paper, and it just says clipboard manager underneath, and. Data jar is this app right here, blue data jar, but I'm not gonna open that app right now. I'm just gonna work with the clipboard manager. Just know that for the clipboard manager to work, data jar has to be installed. There is no setup needed, but it does need to be installed. So um, I'm gonna launch the clipboard manager, the shortcut. And it launches. So it asks you which one, add an item to the clipboard or get item from the clipboard. And I'm going to say add an item uh, to the clipboard. And then, yep. Okay. So now I'm gonna launch, uh, let's see, drafts again. Oh no, actually, I don't wanna launch drafts just yet. Now I'm gonna say uh, launch the shortcut again. And I'm gonna say get item from the clipboard. And here it is. The item I just copied is the first item down here. Copy um, item, which you saw me write in um, drafts. We're going to copy that, and it gives you a, a message, a notification that it's been copied. You simply go to drafts or wherever you want to paste it, and hit paste and you paste the item and that's how uh, both of these uh, applications work they both of them work in a similar style clippo and the clipboard manager um, have similar functionalities they Neither iOS applications work as well as the clipboard manager on the Mac works. So, um, you know, because you can't just trigger a list like you can on the Mac. On iOS, you have to trigger an entire app. And then that app launches, and then you get to choose from a list of items. And um, the only bad part that I see about iOS clipboard managers is when you when you copy an item, it doesn't get copied until you launch the application for a clipboard manager, whether it is iOS or um, Clippo. When I say iOS, I mean the iOS shortcut clipboard manager. So this is uh, Clippo. Here's its list. And you guys saw the uh, clipboard manager clip. It'll ask you which one. 
And then I can, for example, copy Washington. I'm just showing this again. And hit drafts again. Paste. Huh. It didn't work. I wonder why. So, but it's supposed to work because I just copied it from the clipboard manager. Let's go to, oh, where is the, okay, clipboard manager. And then I'm gonna get an item from the clipboard and I'm going to copy Washington. It should be able to paste. Uh, paste. It doesn't work. It did work at one point. But it doesn't. So I guess. I was going to say that I'm going to go. Because uh, I like clipboard managers. Because it's an iOS application um, and it's supposed to work better than than this um, but it doesn't I guess since this is a comparison um, I'd have to go with Clippo on this one I don't know if it's something with the way I have the app set up or um, or what it is exactly Anyway, guys, um, that's all I have for today. Please like, subscribe, and comment on my video. Let me know if you liked this type of video. Um, do you want to see more videos that are reviewing um, iOS applications for automation? Let me know in the comments below, and I will have links for all these um, applications, including Christopher Lolly's uh, channel, who is a great um, YouTuber that uh, has videos on I, uh, iOS, iPadOS, and shortcuts and automation on his channel. Uh, and with that, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Hey everybody, I had to come back and give a quick update. The iOS shortcut for Clipboard Manager actually does work. I got it to work after the my recording by simply um, re uh, closing completely and restarting the app. But anyway, it works and that's the one I prefer to use. And I'll see you guys in the next video.